unless one has poured the totality of themselves, their whole heart, the entirety of their inheritance, all in, into absolutely everything that they've done, and then had everything taken away from them, absolutely everything destroyed, annihilated, decimated. Unless that has happened to an individual, it can't be understood what the earth is going through, what the heart is going through. It can't be comprehended whatsoever. One has to have put their entirety, their whole inheritance, their whole heart, the entire effort into everything that they've done. And then when you've done that, and as I've said, it all gets taken away. Every last bit of it. Then one can have a comprehension of exactly what creation is going through right now. What it has been going through for quite some time. And of course, the many, the absolute majority, don't give a shit whatsoever about any of that. They don't give a damn. They think it's just all here to serve them and their petty little ideas. And so this also ties into today's message and the importance of it. All of the time, one is making statements to eternity. All of the time. Yes, with the written word, the spoken word, but also one's actions. One's actions obviously speak the loudest, as has been said. Actions do speak louder than words. This is why how one walks is far more important than how one talks. But regardless, what one says absolutely does matter. So, as an example, those who come on here and try to make arguments or just leave their insults, just leave their abuse in that way. While these are statements to eternity, there is no argument for what's being presented here. I'm certainly not looking for any arguments. I'm not looking for debate. I'm presenting a vision of what's being done to the earth, what's being done to the heart, and the revelations behind it. There is no seeking out of arguments whatsoever. So anyone coming on here and leaving their comments, such as, this is all an illusion. Okay, well, that's a statement to eternity. It has nothing to do with me, your statement. Go ahead and keep declaring all of that stuff. Keep declaring that you believe in the ideas of money. Keep declaring that you believe in hierarchies. Keep declaring that you think that this meat suit, this devil suit, is the perfect and ultimate creation. Make sure you make those declarations over and over again. I mean, you don't really have to. Eternity is always listening. Always. You don't even have to say these things out loud. You can just be saying them within yourself, and eternity still hears. It hears everything. So when those of you, especially the artificials, or it doesn't matter, really, any individual... You come on here and it's like you're trying to seek an argument. Well, there's none to be had. 
All you're doing is making statements. And eternity hears you loud and clear. If you believe that, it's all just bowing down to you. Just constantly bowing down to serve the little experience that everyone is having in this cancer suit to perpetuate cancer and you believe in that. Well, you're making a statement to eternity. It has nothing to do with me, your statement. Especially when the revelations are brought forward. Especially. But you could just deny it altogether. You can believe that deforestation is a good thing. You can believe that slaughterhouses are necessary. You really want to believe in that shit and say that's okay? Justify eating murder meat even though you don't have to? Trying to justify it somehow. Go ahead. Justify it all day long. Eternity is listening. Absolutely it is. You want to believe in politics, even, and the hierarchy of that. Just all these wrong ideas. Again, all of it coming from hell's system. This whole thing, this whole vision is the setup of hell. And that includes this human form. It completely and absolutely does. So if one wants to declare that they're a believer in this form, in this cancer suit, go ahead. Make the statement loud and clear. Call it the perfect form made in the image of God. Of course, that's not the truth whatsoever. It's made in the image of the devil. Hell's master. But go ahead and deny that. There's no argument to be made here. I'm presenting the vision of the heart, of the earth. That's the crown that I'm presenting. That vision. Nothing to do with the mind. If one wants to make the statement to eternity that you believe in the mind? Go ahead, make that statement. Or you want to make the statement that you believe in the balance between the mind and the heart. Go ahead, make that statement. Make it loud and clear. You're not going to find an argument from me, from this voice, from this heart. Not whatsoever. Your statements are going right to the true creators, as I've said, are eternal father and eternal mother. A lot of people don't like hearing that. I don't care. If one doesn't like the message being brought, I've already said what to do. It's, I'm becoming a broken record as well, just in my repetitions in these certain matters. So my statements have been clear. I don't believe in a stitch, not one stitch of the wrong vision of Hell's system. Not whatsoever. I am all in for the heart. Completely through and through. I've made that perfectly clear. My statements to eternity are perfectly clear. So that's what I wanted to present today. And does one see the incredible importance of that? You can go ahead and try to justify your incorrect actions, your incorrect viewpoints, all day long, especially when you know better, especially, and you continue to do the same things. These are statements, but it's never too late to adjust to change.
of course, until it is too late. We do not have forever left in this realm, this incorrect realm, not even close. As I said, it's coming to midnight very quickly. So it absolutely does matter what one's statements are. Yeah, the verbal ones, but also the ones that one is walking. It matters greatly. So that's what's occurred, is that our true creators have poured their heart, poured the entirety, the entirety into the correct vision. And what has occurred? Just a bunch of clones, just a bunch of clowns, just looking to destroy it all. Just take everything. Just flood this earth. Flood the heart with the incorrect vision over and over and over again. More and more clones. More and more clowns just dicking around. Just wanting to destroy it all. Wanting to take everything. Just wanting everything. Filled with desire. All of the perversions. Just keep flooding the entirety of the earth with that. With so much perversity, so much violence, so much hatred, so much hierarchy, so much pursuit of these desirous goals, such as money and all of its ugliness. Of course it's ugly. Some have everything and others not even a pittance, not even a crumb. And one wants to call that beautiful. Money is just a circus point system. That's all it is. Did you collect enough circus points? Wait till you get your door prize at death with all those points. Yeah, all of eternity is seeing how you've put your inheritance, your heart, into the pursuit of just that construct. Pouring your totality into that. Just an absurd, perverse idea. But go ahead and declare your belief in it. Declare it to eternity. While all of creation is providing all of this beauty. All of the beauty just so what? Everyone can come along and destroy it for some profit? For some circus points. How frickin' sad. It's just unbelievably, unbelievably sad. There really is just no concept of the enormity of pain that the earth is going through. Just none. People want to just call it an illusion. Yeah, go ahead and deforest some of your limbs and come back on here and say that everything is an illusion, including what just happened to your limbs. Yeah, but it's okay to take the limbs off the earth endlessly. One thinks that's just fine for... A little bit of profit. Some circus toilet paper points. Just watching clowns just destroy it and laugh. Laugh their ass off in mockery. It's disgusting. It's absolutely horrendous and disgusting. So that's exactly why the earth is done. There's no more gas left. Yeah, that's the other thing. People think that the siphoning of the earth's blood, the oil, it's just all fine. Yeah, we can just keep sucking that lifeblood out endlessly. Just so many wrong ideas. Uh, it's just... 
I could just keep listing them for hours on end, but what's the point? As I said, one either gets it and sees what's being done or one doesn't. And these become one's statements and declarations to all of creation as well. The heart which is just pouring, pouring everything out. And who's listening, who's paying attention truly, and not treating it like a frickin' circus joke. It's done. It's out of gas. The joke is over. The earth isn't going to be propping this shit up, this circus shit show up for very much longer whatsoever. But go ahead and mock that. There's no argument here. Go ahead and make your disdainful statement to eternity. Please do. Creation hears you. It hears you loud, loud and clear.